make an initial skin incision, and then divide the fatty layer in line with the incision. Lift the skin and undermine the fatty layer to create a mobile window sufficient to expose the capsule but not so extensive as to risk necroses of subcutaneous tissue. The femoral cutaneous nerve is ventral to and well away from the exposure. With the fascia exposed, palpate the underlying plane between the tensor fascia lata and the iliotibial band. It is here that the fascia is of sufficient thickness to allow closure at the end of the procedure. Incise the fascia, approximately 2 to 5 mm medial to the underlying border of fascia lata, following the direction of skin incision. Use scissors and blunt dissection to separate the tensor fascia lata ventrally from the fascia, following the plane of incision down to the capsule of the femoral neck. Insert a straight Hohmann retractor between the tensor fascia lata and the sartorius muscle, with the tip coming to rest on the femoral neck at the bottom of the greater trochanter. Retract the tensor laterally together with the abductor minimus and medius muscles. Use a second retractor on the femoral calcar to retract the sartorius and rectus muscles ventrally. This will expose the capsule over the femoral neck. Make a T-shaped capsular incision, inferior to superior, and along the border of the greater trochanter. Lift the capsule away from the bone, using a rasp if necessary. Suture and reflect both flaps, ready for reattachment.